Welcome to this tutorial in which we will show you how to paint scenography using the dual exo made for this kind of materials. This video is for everyone and anyone. We'll use both the brush and the airbrush, but don't worry, it's very simple and fun. So let's begin. This is the airbrush I'm going to be using throughout this video, the AK Basic Line. It's the perfect airbrush and it's cheap enough, so don't hesitate to get one yourself. We will use this purple Andromeda for the base coat of all the pieces. I prefer to paint them disassembled, but it's up to you. Everyone can do it the way they prefer. And here is the result after a couple of coats. Now's the turn for this dark blue paint. We'll apply it from above, as then it'll highlights. You won't have any issues with this, as it's very easy. Little by little, you can see the effects in the higher areas. And this is the final result. With these two colors at 50%, we'll continue airbrushing the higher areas, creating a gradient. See how there's a lot of space and it's very simple. You won't find it complicated. Now only with this one color, we'll continue working using the same technique as before, applying it in the top parts and decreasing the coverage area in order to create the final gradient. This is the result. We'll use this type of brush to do the famous dry brush technique. The most important thing when it comes to the dry brush is to remove the paint from the brush, which is where the majority of errors happen. And you apply it like this. It's very easy, just rub the brush on all the edges of the scenery. We will use this dark brick paint, almost undiluted, for the rusted metal parts. These buildings are outdoors, exposed to the elements, so we'll make them dirty and rusty and we'll achieve this with a very simple technique. You won't have any trouble using it. The important thing is to cover all the parts that are going to be metallic with this brown color. What we'll do with this lighter tone is to paint lines covering areas that we've previously painted with the brown paint. We should work on the rust in random areas, just like you can see here. We've even made some scratches on the door, as well as a little bit of wash. Take a look at the result. To finish the rust effect, we'll use this light orange color following the same technique as before. We'll paint dots, lines, stains, whatever you want, again, very randomly, so that the rust looks realistic. Take a look again at the door, how we are doing the washes, working up the damage. This technique is very fun. Remember that, above all, it's important to enjoy the process. Next, with gunmetal, we'll achieve that all these parts truly appear metallic. We'll do this easily with a dry brush, working on all the pieces that we've worked on before. And keep in mind that it's very important that you remove the paint from the brush well. We'll apply this enamel-based product over all the bends and nooks with no fear, it will spread over all the cracks and slits on its own. Don't worry if your accuracy is not perfect, that will only make it appear more realistic and dirtier. While the previous product is still wet, we'll apply wash light rust in a very random pattern, just having fun with it. We'll apply it wherever we want, a dot here and a dot over there, simply enjoy the process. Now's the time for the liquid pigments. Remember that they can be used for scenery, just like you would use them on a base. And just like before, we'll have fun with them and apply them anywhere we want to. See how easy this technique is? There's no right or wrong way to do it. You can choose the spots you want to cover with it yourself. And one more liquid pigment, dark grass dust. As you can see, we apply it while the previous paint is still fresh and we continue with the random pattern, touching up the areas that we prefer.
Let's move on to the weathering pencils. This is a very efficient tool for creating streaks, drippings, among other things. Wetting the tip of the pencil or with the pencil dry. Take note of how we are creating these vertical lines. And with a slightly wet brush, we will blur them and soften the effect. There are colors for anything that you can come up with. Take a look at this green color, which we have used to make it seem as if there was liquid coming out of the broken pipe. And here we have the final result of all the effects we have created until now. The same technique has been used on the platform. With these three colors that I'm showing you, I have painted the interior of the scenography. The technique is exactly the same, it's just to show you what it can look like. And to finish, this is the result of the entire piece. Thank you very much for watching.